Hi, and welcome back, Connections and Separation Collective. Happy New Year, and welcome back, Capricorn. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on how to take your connection and separation uh, connection or partnership uh, to the next level, how to ascend your relationship. Down below in the description box, if you guys are interested in a private one-to-one -one reading, you will find my official website and on my website, you will see my credentials. But before I begin, I want to send a huge shout out and thank you to Ari, a subscriber, a fan, but also a dear friend from Facebook. Thank you so much, Ari, for suggesting this uh, series on how to how to take your connection and separation to the next level. So thank you so much, Ari. And for those of you who would like to share your ideas on themes that you want me to do readings on, um, with tarot, with Oracle, just send your suggestions to me. I greatly appreciate it. And maybe your theme or your idea may be the next that I feature here on our channel. But before I begin, let me also say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. Wow, beautiful message coming out here already. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. So, very interesting because this deck is the one that I have used last for all the signs right as i kind of like the last additional message but for you capricorn this is coming out on the reverse it's i'm starting from back to front so what does this say here well one of the ways that you can take your connection and separation to the next level is to surrender to the process of understanding that there is a divine connection here there is divine support there are things that you can control but there are things here that are beyond your control, okay? So there's this sense of acceptance, accepting that the universe has your back, accepting that, you know, as long as you you are you and your partner, this is not a one, you know, one, uh, a one person show here. This is both of you, right? This is a a partnership here here or a connection here with two people in this connection and separation. So what is asking you here to reflect on is the following. For you, Capricorn, and your connection partner, okay, to come together and in a way accept that the universe, fate, that there are things that you may not know how they may work out, right? There may be questions here like, when am I going to see you? When are you going to see me? When are we going to be able to do this? How are we going to be able to do that? If do X, Y, and Z, if you're over there and I'm over here, or I'm over here and you're over there, right? So there could be that type of energy here of thinking about that. But what this is telling you here is this, as long as you and your partner put in all the work, effort, dedication, okay, nurture the relationship, you put all the ingredients together, right? It's like a cake. You go and you buy all the ingredients for the cake, the milk, the eggs, the, you know, the, the flour and all these things you put in the work, you got to go buy it. You got to put it together in a bowl. You got to stir it, you know, whisk it, whatever it is, put it together, you know, get the pan, do all those steps. But at the end of the step is to place it in the oven and not to open that oven door every five minutes, right? So in other words, that's symbolic here for you, Capricorn, and saying that as long as you and your uh, your person put all the hard work, dedication, and the effort, okay, into your connection and separation, there is a part of surrendering to the process of the divine, of the universe, creator, whichever your spiritual or religious beliefs may be, and to then allow uh, those energies and your own manifestation along with your partner to then do the work, right? To do the rest, the how, okay? Because the how is not our, um, kind of like our job to figure out. It's in a way surrendering to the process of accepting that there is that element of the divine that will help and guide us along the way. So beautiful uh, message here. Another one here, it says, truth be told. And what's interesting is that this um, window is opening the owl's chest area or heart chakra. 
So owls have a lot to do with intuition. So there is a sense here of how can you take it to the next level, intuitively connect with each other, you know, follow your hunches, follow your gut level feeling. But also owl has a lot to do with knowledge, understanding, right? So knowledge, understanding, or learning what it is that you're truly feeling in this connection and being able to open the doors of your heart chakra and sharing it here with your partner or your partner with you. Now you see a mask down here and this mask is all about letting go, surrendering to the process of fate, the universe, okay? But also here, surrendering in a sense of being vulnerable, okay? Allowing yourself, Capricorn, or your partner and you to be vulnerable with each other, you know? Talk about those things that are concerning, but then also talk about those things that you guys want to work together in order to grow and uh, move on here to the next level. Okay. Making sure that both people are on the same page and that requires a sense of honesty. That's that requires a sense of being honest, not only with yourself, Capricorn, but also be honest with your partner and your partner with you. So beautiful messages here. Let's take a look at more messages here. You have the eight of cups and the queen of pentacles, another set of beautiful energies here. Basically what I was talking about before, remember the eight of cups came out first, queen of pentacles came out second. Eight of cups here is talking about you Capricorn or you as a couple. Okay. So it could be the singular you it could be Capricorn, just you. Or it could be talking about your partner or both of you together, okay? The plural you. So one of the other ways that you can take this connection to the next level is exactly what I was talking about before here. Remember that talk and that channeling of vulnerability? Well, to be able here in the Eight of Cups to emotionally disengage from things that no longer serve you, from old patterns of behavior, okay? old emotional wounds or trauma that you may have um, gone through in the past or recent past and pretty much letting down your guard again mask okay letting down your mask letting down your guard not just you Capricorn but also your partner and being able to walk away from look at that look at that muddy water okay it's not clear crystal water it's water that's dirty right it's stagnant water so we're leaving behind emotions that no longer serve either ourselves or our relationship in order to move into a new horizon okay wonderful me me messages there coming in for you capricorn we also have here under fates we have the queen of pentacles now this is talking about embracing the energy of creation because queen's energy um, is not about gender it's about the energy of creation okay so creating that type of stability mutually creating those moments here where you're deeply rooted to what matters to what you value both individually and as a couple queen of pentacles energy i'm feeling here for you capricorn um, and of, of course you are in an earth sign. Okay. So this may be specifically speaking to you. Okay. Capricorn is that there is this sense here of inner knowing. If you look here at the queen of pentacles, look at her face. It's she's holding on to that pentacle. She's at peace. And there's this kind of slight smile. It's like, I'm reassured. I know that I am where I need to be. So there is a sense of inner reassurance, this inner kind of feeling of being secure with other areas of your life, being secure with your success, being secure with your a career, being uh, uh, secure in the successes of your own accomplishments, okay? Your family life, so different areas. And there's this feeling here of kind of like, I know what I know. I know that this is going to last. I know what I need to put in as far as work because we are talking about the pentacles energy. And pentacles energy is all about the patience, the hard work, the effort, the determination to push forward to push through obstacles and challenges in order to then be seated here with a sense of reassurance, just like the queen of pentacles. Okay. So 
another beautiful message here for you. Let's take a look at what else, uh, what other messages are coming through here for you, Capricorn. How can Capricorn take their connection and separation to the next level? Um, here with the queen of pentacles, I'm also getting here that there has been, okay. For some of you who have been in this connection and separation, um, relationship for quite some time, this is telling me that there has been a lot of work happening all throughout. Okay. And what's in, uh, you meaning that there's been a lot of work put in or placed into the relationship, a lot of patience, a lot of dedication, a lot of kind of like really working towards that. Now, what's interesting here is that the fate card is looking towards my, or I should say her eyes are closed, but she's tilting more to my, uh, right-hand side, which is the future. And there is this, uh, queen of pentacles that is in a way twisting, uh, her body to my left-hand side, which is the past. So there is this sense here of continuity, Okay. So if you've been with your partner for quite some time, there's a sense of, I know what I have. I feel that it's stable. And in order for you to go to the next level, to continue to be in that mindset. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's take a look here at what other messages are coming in for you. Okay. That means that I need to just shuffle a little bit more. So which, whatever reason it was, and, and I always, I trust my ethereal team, uh, this, Basically, this reading went very differently than the other ones have gone. If you guys want to check that out um, <laughs> with the other signs. So in the middle here, I have freedom. Okay. Now, I mentioned this earlier. Okay. Which is interesting because I'm getting an, another set of uh, um, messages here for you. Another set of download. The freedom to express your emotions. The freedom here to be vulnerable, the freedom to take away whatever mask or facade that you may have been carrying from prior relationships here. This can, this, this can be, uh, for you Capricorn or for your, um, partner here, letting go of that is going to bring this freedom of expression. We have here, um, birds, birds, or all about communication. So the freedom to express yourself to each other. Um, another way here that you can ascend your relationship into another level, into a higher level, is by finding the freedom to not only communicate with each other, but also allow yourself, okay, to be independent Okay, be independently your own individual within your connection. What do I mean by that? What's coming to me here energetically is that you being your whole person, Capricorn, okay, you being this Queen of Pentacles energy, you're doing your thing, you're focusing on you, your career, all of these important aspects that you're deeply rooted in in your life. You want it all. Okay. But your partner also being in this state of mind of the queen of pentacles. Okay. Focusing, putting in the hard work in that type of career, success, prosperity, home, uh, family life. Okay. Both of you independently really focusing on making yourselves even more successful more deeply rooted to what it is that you value in your relationship and that independence. Okay. That both of you have you in your um, location, Capricorn and your partner in their location together. Okay. There's this energy of now we're two solid whole people coming together and freely having the opportunity to continue in this path together. There is this freedom card here, and this is coming to me as financial freedom, freedom of expression, freedom to share uh, feelings with each other and towards each other, the freedom of having your pentacles, your ducks in a row 
in your finances so that you can travel to each other. So the traveling could be a little easier. So the frequency, if possible, of coming together and spending time with each other while you continue in your connection and separation can continue to happen here. So there's this freedom here that says a lot here to me in regards to your connection. And this is going to allow here this energy of ascension, of going to the next step, of going to the next level here for you, Capricorn, in your connection and separation. Capricorn, I hope these messages have been insightful. Please click here on the Lexatero logo to be part of the Lexatero family. Click down here and click up here for more free bonus messages for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.